Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Alex's Adventures and in this episode of Alex's Adventures we are going to take a adventure inside the village at Orange in Orange, California. So we are here at the village at Orange also known as the Mall of Orange or Orange Mall. Today in this episode of Alex's Adventures we are going to take a walking tour inside the village at Orange. So we are in the front entrance at the village at Orange. Here is the doors. This is the front entrance that leads to the center of the mall. And let's go ahead and take a adventure inside. Here you can see on your right we have some uh, food establishments. Here are there are several are closed and several are open for takeout only. Here we at the center of the mall on all four corners. Uh, it's a jewelry stores. And here's the directory of the mall. The village at Orange. And here's the directory. It's in a pretty simple layout. And here are the stores. And this mall, this shopping mall, indoor shopping mall, opened in August of 1971. And there are three major anchors to this mall. And those three major anchors, um, uh, the stores of the three major anchors are the Sears, the Walmart that we are walking towards to, and the recently closed JC Penny. So we have some couple of these uh, stores. And what makes this mall different than any other mall is that uh, the stores inside these malls are are uh, small business stores and something that you don't see in, in a typical um, thriving mall. So this mall uh, has gone some several several renovations as well as several anchors. Um, there, used, there wasn't a Walmart that we are walking towards to. Uh, before Walmart, it was the Broadway. And J.C. Penney was something else before, before, uh, before right now. And the, the only original anchor that hasn't been touched was a, a Sears. And the Sears is the only original anchor that hasn't been replaced with something else. So here we are at this end of the mall, and at this end of the mall, uh, we have a Walmart. And this is the former location of the Broadway. Here you can see that used to that this used to be the uh, World Market, now closed. And now let's go back inside the mall and tell you more about the history of this mall. And as we go back inside, we're going to walk towards back to the center of the mall. And we're going to go to the J.C. Penney that recently closed. And back to what I was saying, uh, the only department store anchor uh, in this mall that never changed was the Sears. And that Sears used to be a standalone uh, department store before this mall was uh, was built. And unfortunately, as of uh, as of 2021, early 20, 2021, the Sears is having its own liquidation sale, and that Sears is the last Sears in Orange County. So with with J.C. Penney uh, that recently closed a couple of years ago, and now the Sears, the only active anchor that would be left is this Walmart. 
and talking about the renovations for the years you can actually see for yourself that um, most of the mainstream uh, stores uh, is on the outside of the mall instead of the inside and they're and they're not your typical uh, stores that you find at other active uh, thriving malls uh, those stores that are on the outside of this mall is are the the big box chain stores such as Sprouts and uh, in in 24 hour fitness so here you can see uh, we have several uh, closed storefronts and as we walk towards this end this used to be a JC Penny that is now boarded up last time I was here uh, there what used to be a JC Penny that was open now it's not now closed and here you can go on the outside through there and yeah so on your right there are some more eating establishments there's Wetzel Pretzel or Auntie's uh, uh, Pretzels Annie's Pretzels I mean and here on your right is a, the bathroom and here's another jewelry store in the center of the mall and what I can remember from is there used to be a kind of like a chimney in the center of the mall I think that was removed when I was uh, last time I was here and here on your right Bath and Body Works something that you see on in other thriving malls here we have a T-Mobile and yeah, so this mall doesn't get a lot of foot traffic on the inside, but uh, the reason why this mall is is active is because the big box chain stores on the outside of this mall, meaning in the front of the mall, not what we are walking on the inside. So here's what I'm talking about. On your right is a Ross. And this Ross used to be several um, uh, stores, you know, converted into a Ross, Crest for Ross. You know, and one of the, another big chain stores is the Home Goods. So here's a Home Goods on your left. So the big chain stores took over this mall, leaving out the the inside of the mall being kind of like not that active it's usually quite uh, if you walk inside the mall but it's it's pretty well alive on the outside so here's the Sears that I am talking about this is the last Sears in Orange County having its liquidation sale you know, this is the only Sears in Orange County that is set to be closed so I'm going to do a separate video for that so here's the Sears store closing on the outside. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to take an in-depth tour of what's inside this Sears store closing store. And yeah. So the last Sears in Orange County. That's about it from the Village at Orange in Orange, California. If you like this video, please give this video a huge thumbs up. Comment in the comment section below on what you think about this mall. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on the bell notification icon. And be sure to check out my other YouTube comment that is on this channel. And thank you for watching Alex's Adventures. And I will see you on the next one.